Say you're running Windows Virtual Machines in Azure and you would like Azure NetApp files for its performance and reliability. How would you set up the SMB volumes? I'm Diane Patton, a technical marketing engineer with Azure NetApp Files, and today I'll show you how. We will start with a Windows VM that needs storage on Azure NetApp Files. We will then show how to create a capacity pool and an SMB volume, and then we'll mount that volume to a Windows Virtual Machine. We can do all of this in three easy steps. First, we'll check the prereqs. Next, we can create the capacity pool and the volume on Azure NetApp Files. And finally, we'll mount that volume to a Windows VM using SMB. Let's get started. First, we will verify the prerequisites. We already have the Azure NetApp Files account created. We will use the Contoso West US2 account. We also have Azure NetApp Files connected to an Active Directory, as you see. Looking at our virtual networks and West US2 virtual network, we have a subnet delegated to Azure NetApp Files and another delegated for the virtual machines. Our DNS is set up on this virtual network to point to the Active Directory as shown here. We also already have a Windows-based virtual machine called Windows SMB, which is deployed on the VM delegated subnet and in domain contoso.com. Next, let's create the capacity pool and the volume. So going back to our account, select capacity pools and add pool. We'll name it standard tier and use the standard performance tier for this volume. But if we discover we need additional performance, we can always create a new capacity pool and move the volume on the fly. We'll make it two Tebby bytes in size, and then we can divide that up into separate volumes. So next, let's go to volumes and create one. We'll then name and enter our desired features for the SMB volume, and I'll call it volume one. We can make it 100 Gibby bytes, connect it to our virtual network and the ANF delegated subnet, and we'll use the standard network features. The select protocol. This is where we can select that we would like this to be accessible via SMB. Add the information about the Active Directory and the name of the share we will call volume one, but it doesn't have to be the same name. So we can add SMB encryption if we like, but remember that encryption at rest is always enabled. This is just for in-flight encryption. And SMB clients not using SMB3 encryption would not be able to access the volume if this is enabled. Non-browsable share and the access-based enumeration or security features. Make sure these features are on in Azure NetApp files before applying them. A non-browsable share prevents a Windows client from being able to browse the share. It will not show up in the Windows file browser. The access-based enumeration will hide directories and files created under the share from users who do not have access permissions to those files or folders under the share while still being able to view the share itself. For purposes of this video, we'd like to be able to see the share, so we're going to leave that off, but remember that's an option. Continuous availability is recommended if you're using specific applications. Please look at the below URL if you're interested in continuous availability. We will not enable this feature in this video since we're going to be mounting directly to a Windows Server VM. You can add tags if you would like. And then review and create. And then create. The volume will come up and we can go directly to that resource. The page makes it simple to mount, providing instructions and everything. We will put the path to the share in our clipboard. Finally, let's mount this new SMB volume to our Windows-based VM by mapping a network drive. Check your specific Windows documentation on how to map a network drive. I will go to File Explorer, then this PC, and then map a network drive. Enter an available drive and then the mount path that we copied to our clipboard. So that's it, we're ready to go. We can see the volume. And then let's go to the command line and look there too. And we can see it there. This video shows how easy it is to use Azure NetApp files with SMB. For more information, please look at the link below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.